25 beginning with breaking news a man with possible ties to terror shot and killed in Roslindale. Now, that man was being watched around the clock by the FBI, Boston Police, and the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Tonight, sources are telling Fox 25 there was some kind of active plot that might have been inspired by ISIS. Hi, everybody. Maria Stefanos. And I'm Mark Ockham. Right now, we know there are two other men in custody being questioned, but they are not under arrest. And we know this investigation is widespread. There are investigations right now in Everett. Warwick, Rhode Island, and Boston, where it all started in Roslindale. Police say officers just wanted to talk to Usama Rahim, but when they approached, he pulled out a large military style knife. You see it right here, and officers were forced to fire. We have team coverage from Rahim's apartment to a crime scene just miles away in Everett. Let's begin with Fox 25's Robert Goulston live at Boston Police Headquarters, where law enforcement updated us on the situation late this afternoon. Robert. Maria, yes, this all unfolded in a CVS parking lot over in the Roslindale area. Apparently, that joint task force approached the man that they were watching, and they say he pulled a knife that is nearly a foot long, and the whole scene turned deadly. It makes it a little more scary, too, because there's so many cops. Right around 7 o'clock this morning, police approached 26-year-old Usama Rahim after he left an apartment complex on Blue Ledge Drive in Roslindale. He was under surveillance by a joint terrorism task force. The task force went up to Rahim in the CVS parking lot around the corner from the apartment on Washington Street. The officers approached this individual without their firearms drawn. They were attempting to conduct uh, uh, what we call in the law a threshold inquiry, a questioning. And it was this deceased person uh, who, well, this this person who, who drew that knife. This is a close-up picture of the knife in question. An FBI agent and a Boston police officer who were both working on the task force fired their weapons and shot Rahim two times, once in the torso and once in the abdomen. The officers are retreating, and that's from the video we have available as well as witnesses' account. And they kept retreating verbally giving commands to drop the weapon, drop the weapon. The FBI and Boston police say there is no public threat, but people who live in the area were shaken up about having a potential terrorist being watched in the area. Oh, it's a little nerve-wracking that it's so close to home. And the DA here in Suffolk County, as well as the Department of Justice, because it did involve an FBI agent and a Boston police officer, they are looking into whether they use too much force or not. We are live in Boston. Robert Coulston, Fox 25 News.